a long way from the Maryland lab that saved his life. John Haverty walks around his Minnesota farm. Just two years ago, this would have been impossible. Had a boy, Doug. Haverty's leg was infected with an antibiotic resistant bacteria. 38.0. Doctors didn't know where it came from. I had 17 surgeries with five different strains of bacteria over the 11 year period. So it, it wasn't until the very end when the option was, was amputate my leg or, well, that was it. Doctors' best antibiotic treatments weren't taking down the bacteria infection threatening to spread beyond Haverty's leg. But there's a new experimental therapy, beneficial viruses. Viruses are even smaller than cells. COVID-19 is one of many viruses around. Some viruses can destroy bacteria. Those good viruses are called bacteriophages. Labs including Adaptive Phage Therapeutics in Gaithersburg, Maryland, produce bacteriophages. Maryland has come to be a hotspot for bacteriophage research. So you have NIH, you have NIST, you have Army bases, Navy bases, all in Maryland, jam-packed. Adaptive Phage Therapeutics found out which superbug infected Haverty's leg and created the right bacteriophage to destroy the infection just before Haverty's doctors had to amputate his leg. We can take our work now that are saving individuals and potentially go out and save hundreds or thousands of people. If these researchers appear a bit young, they are. They're both in their mid-20s, recent graduates of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, one of the country's leading programs in bacteriophage research. During the Cold War, there were two ways to take on bacteria. The U.S. and its allies used antibiotics, such as penicillin and z packs because they were a one-size-fits-all approach. But the Soviet Union and its allies used bacteriophages, and to this day, bacteriophages are still available in pharmacies in former Soviet countries, but not here. Dr. Sardo Shulikvidi came from the former Soviet country of Georgia and was shocked when a friend of him told of a patient who died from a superbug infection. The CDC says 35,000 Americans die every year from antibiotic-resistant superbugs. Somebody just died, somebody's you know, father, husband, friend, uh, in the most developed country in the world after undergoing one of the most sophisticated medical procedures and died from a simple infection that probably could have been treated easily in Georgia in the developing country where I came from. And so it just made no sense. He founded Interlytics, a bacteriophage producer in Columbia, Maryland. <laughs> Using cutting edge robotics, Interlytics can test and match bacteriophage viruses with the bacteria they kill faster than ever before. With antibiotic resistance rising, these Maryland scientists view it as a race against time. If we were to end up in a pre-antibiotic era, on those tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of lives saved because of antibiotics, uh, we, we will lose all that. Researchers believe that with human trials underway, bacteriophage treatments will be available in American pharmacies in the next several years. On the wall of adaptive phage therapeutics are pictures and descriptions of the lives saved through their bacteriophage therapy trials, but only one has a signature on it. John Haverty drove from his Minnesota farm to Gaithersburg just to tell this crew how much all of them meant to him. The superbugs are coming. Um, it's not news today because COVID still takes over everything. But in the years as they come and the resistance to antibiotics becomes more common, uh, you're going to be hearing about these superbugs. In Gaithersburg, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.